All right, so we're back and we're going to um, finish a few things up. So um, the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and um, finish my labeling before I start the second phase. This is going to be a three part video. Um, once we've finished our labels, then we're going to move on. So we've got, you know, we've got required labels. Um, that's ascender, descender, X height, cap height, mean line, and baseline. So we already have um, cap, light, cap height, mean line, and baseline done. So we're going to go in and we're going to do um, our X height. And so our X height is the space between mean line and baseline. X height's important. Um, read up about it. It actually defines how readable. Um, you know fonts are in many ways so I'm going to put a line between here and here and because we are using a 0.5 stroke everywhere else we're going to do that here one of the things that I can actually do is once I've actually got a stroke that I want um, as long as that stroke is selected I can come in here and I can select that and it should change it for me and it did all right, so I'm also going to put an arrowhead on um, both of those. So, oh, you know what? It did not do it. So let's go ahead and do it manually. So 0.5 um, would be our stro stroke and our swatch, um, I think is probably that. Oops. There we go. So now we're going to come in and we're going to do our stroke and we're going to do our arrowhead. So I'm going to pick an arrowhead for each one because we want to point to each one. Notice that they actually um, are a little bit bigger and I'm actually going to leave them a little bit bigger. Um, this time, um, once I actually, now that I'm looking at these, um, they actually feel a little bit small. I also realize that I'm doing this on the wrong. Um, so I'm going to make these 75%. I may have changed it. Um, so that looks good. So now that I have the X height figured out, I'm just going to, again, copy this because there's no point in retyping it um, and figuring out the, um, the placement. Um, and because this is a vertical... Um, I'm going to rotate that and let's let's do that again so I can rotate it see as I get around it I can rotate it or I could come over here and rotate it um, or I can rotate it with a rotate rotation tool I tend not to use the rotation tool or the free transform tool which we've talked about I'm just going to snug that right over on this side. You know what, I'm gonna leave it on this side. That ascender is kind of getting in my way, but we're gonna leave it there. All right, so we've done X height. So now we're gonna come down here and do ascenders and descenders. Um, and so we have to decide a little bit about how we want those labels to look. So I'm gonna have the label come off of, of wherever I'm and come up here. I'm going to start with a sender. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click here, hold down shift, go up, and then again, hold down shift and go over. So it kind of makes this, and you can see that it's trying to fill. So I'm going to click that. And now let's see if we can get, and that actually did give me my stroke, which is great. Now, um, interesting uh, dilemma we're going through this line now um, I don't love the way that looks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a box and I'm going to make it white and I'm going to do object arrange send it back and it's basically going to give me a little bit of break in that line and I can I can customize that box a little bit. It's grabbing the type instead of letting me grab the box. We'll just leave it alone. 
that's one of the reasons why um, we probably should be working on our layers. All right, so it is on this layer. And something else is being grabbed. I'm going to go ahead and lock that specific thing. And then I can come in here. So this this is one of the reasons why I like to, to use my layers. And I've let my layers get out a little bit out of control. Now, I want um, the arrowhead to be at the end. So I'm going to go to Stroke and uh, go down to Arrow. And we're going to make that 75%. And this is an ascender. Now, now that I think about it, I'm actually going to add some information because it's not super clear. So let's do this. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to hold down shift and grab that and I'll move that away a little bit. Now, the reason why it's not super clear is because um, this whole area is the ascender. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate that. Um, and now that I have that, I'm going to click that line. Oops, that line. That line. Oh, it's not it's still not doing it for me. All right, so we'll go back to putting in the, the line manually with my swatches. Um, now one of the things I noticed is this is not exactly at the same spot. So I'm going to back this off and I'm going to hold down shift to make sure. And that looks pretty close. And then I'm going to grab this guy and this guy. Oops. Be careful not to forget your arrow. Just grabbing something else. We'll zoom out. Just grabbing that type. We're going to go to layers and we're going to lock just that layer um, so that we don't have that problem. This is why. Um, I say layer it up when you're first starting and then I'm going to snug that back in and then we can very clearly see that that is the ascender. So now that we have that, um, we're going to come to our labels, unlock them and grab one. Uh, copy it and that is going to be our a sender. Now, um, I like to reuse things um, if at all possible, just because it makes my life easier. <clears throat> and so um, I've got this wonderful little shape already created. So I'm going to grab both parts. I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to hold down Option and drag it. And then I can actually rotate it and use it for my descender. And so it looks like I only have G's for descender. And just so that we're um, kind of keeping the labels kind of dispersed, I'm going to put it over here. And then I'm going to come up here and copy that. And we're going to call that, oops, Descender. We're going to spell it right this time. We're going to snug that up midway. Um, so we have Ascender, Descender. Um, and baseline, ascender, descender, x height, cap height, mean line, baseline. Those are all of our required 
words. Um, so now we have to go ahead and kind of define what we're going to do. So we're going to do the I. So the I is actually um, this space here. Now this can also be called a counter. So this is called a counter, but it's not considered an I. An I is only used for an E. Um, and so that's easy to remember. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go from the center, which is that space there, and kind of create my turn. We're going to flip it. We're going to go to stroke. We're going to do 0.5. We're going to go to our swatch. We're going to make it the swatch color. We're going to flip it because we didn't do it right the first time. And now this time, this is going to be a little different. Um, this is my first point. I want that to be a little, a little dot. You can see that there's a lot of fun stuff here. So I'm going to do a dot. And I'm going to do my arrowhead. Now the dot is a little bit big for me, and this needs to come down. I'm going to make that dot. Let's make it 75% and see if we're okay with it. Yep, we're okay with it. And then we're going to make our arrowhead 75%. And then we're going to come in and we're going to copy that. And that's going to be I. So we're up to seven. Now the next thing that I think is really important is I don't want you guys to forget serif. Now you are completely able to label whatever you want. This is what I'm labeling of the four that I get to choose from. And so I'm going to choose to label my serif. Actually, pretty I like serifs a lot. So I'm actually going to do a circle over the part that's a serif. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the things that we're always doing, 0.5 and I'm going to come, oops, to my swatches. I'm going to define that color, flip it again because it's still... and so the whole serif is selected and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to give myself that little L shaped over there and it's in that same size finally. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of these guys. So this is a serif, S-E-R-I-F. We're going to just snug it up and then let's take a look. We have how many, we have two more that we can do. And one of them is going to be arm, which is up here. So I'm going to do something in the center. And that is going to be counter, which is a bummer because there's not really, this is really the only counter that I can label. So we're going to roll with it. And to do this counter, I feel like we need to pull something down again because it's a lot busy up here. So this time we're going to do click, hold down shift, hold down shift, go this way. And again, we, we need to make it an outline. Um, we're going to pull that to the top so we don't have the issue that we're constantly battling, 0.5. And then we're going to go to swatches, lots of repetitive work in graphic design. Um, and then in our stroke, we're going to do our dot. And then we're going to do our arrow. And this is going to be 75%. And oops, 75%. And this is going to be 75%. And one of the things we could do is be kind of conscious of like the backs and forth. So like, for example, um, now that I'm conscious of that, I'm going to drag this whole thing down so it's a little bit lower and this is a little bit further up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and grab one of our labels and copy it. And we're going to 
type in counter. So um, we're at about 30 minutes um, to do your whole project. Now keep in mind, you're, you're going to take hours and hours to do this, probably because you don't have a lot of experience in Illustrator. Um, don't anticipate 30 minutes for yourself because I'm fast and I know what I'm doing. Um, you're going to need to make sure that you're giving yourself an appropriate time. And it's 30 minutes because we've done one 15 minute demo to get here and this 15 minute demo and then I have another 15 right after that. All right, so once we've done this, um, we just have one and I mentioned that I was going to do the arm on the T. So we're going to come in and we're going to again use something that we've done in the past. So I'm going to duplicate that um, and then this time I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to reflect it. So I'm going to come down underneath the rotate tool to the reflect tool, double click it, and I want to do a vertical so, or, uh, vertical reflection so that it's up there and I'm going to click OK. And so Now, I don't need all of this because this area right here is the arm. So I'm going to come in here and use my pen tool minus tool and I'm going to get rid of that guy. And I'm going to just drop it down. Now, I'm going to come in and copy this and this is going to be arm. Notice that I'm com I'm very consciously choosing to do lowercase. I feel like, you know, for me, they feel less intrusive, and we want this to be a composition, which is what we're going to start out doing in the next phase. So here we are. We have all of our labels, all 10, the six required, and the four that you're going to be picking. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a save as, remember, or save. Um, remember to save often. Um, the rule of thumb is every 15 minutes. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've lost a lot of work, hours and hours of work, because I haven't saved it. Thanks. Bye.